Hello everybody, and today we'll be taking a look at an unbranded 256GB SSD which I purchased for only $15. I bought it a few months ago off of OfferUp to using a laptop I was refurbishing, but given its very low price, I wanted to take a more in-depth look into its performance. For the benchmarks today, I'll include a few synthetic tests such as Crystal Dismark along with a few real-world applications such as loading times for multiple games. But let's head right into the testing and be sure to like and sub if you enjoyed the video. Today's SSD in question is the unbranded OEMO SSD 256 GBT SS2. It has a total capacity of 256 gigabytes and utilizes the SATA 3 form factor. Now, I couldn't find the listing because I had purchased it so many months ago, but when I bought it, it came in an unopened anti-static bag with no other protection, so my expectations were pretty low. So, I went home, installed it into a laptop, and threw Windows 10 on the system. The install took a typical amount of time and was nothing out of the ordinary, but I was just relieved that it wasn't a total piece of garbage. The laptop, however, was quite literally from the garbage, but the specs inside weren't too bad at all. Inside this HP Pavilion DV 70 laptop, you'll find an Intel i7-2630QM, 8GB of RAM, an AMD HD 6770M, and, of course, the unbranded SSD we'll be testing today. I tried looking all over the internet for any hint to where this SSD originated from or who manufactured it, but so far the strongest lead I have is the sticker on the back that says that it was made in Taiwan. However, when searching around for its information, I did find that it was occasionally utilized in Lenovo laptops such as the Lenovo 20BHS0EK00. A lot of what is found online in regards to this SSD were benchmarks, most of which come from foreign websites, so bits of information on this SSD were far and few in between. The SSD also popped up sometimes on used seller websites such as eBay, but those listings were likely quite outdated due to them being significantly overpriced and you probably shouldn't buy one unless you get a good deal like I did. But I think we just about covered all the necessary background information about this SSD, so how about we head right into some benchmarks. The first benchmark I ran on this system was of the Windows 10 startup time. For this benchmark, I provided the drive with optimal conditions and the only program installed on it at the time were the default Windows ones along with the operating system. The reason I mention this is because it turns out that the more full an SSD is, the worse it will perform. In total, the time it took to boot up the laptop to the point of sign-in was 1 minute and 35 seconds. That's not very good, but it's not terrible either. I mean, it's better than most hard drives you find installed in a laptop, but it doesn't really stay true to the quick boot up times typically achieved by solid state drives. But for $15, I can't complain much and the boot up time was about what I expect since this is a none too high in SSD. Afterwards, I then conducted a few synthetic benchmarks on this SSD before installing a few games. The first test I did was of User Benchmark. User Benchmark is a software that will benchmark all components of one system, but will specifically be taking a look at how this SSD performed. The 43%, however, means that it performed better than 43% of identical SSDs tested on User Benchmark. But in fact, it ended up scoring the highest out of any component on the system. I honestly didn't think that it would perform as well as it did in comparison to other SSDs, but I guess there's a lot of terribly performing solid state drives out there. I also ran the test of Crystal Disk Mark on this computer. This test gives us specific numbers in terms of the SSD's performance and got 552 megabytes per second on the sequential read test and 452 megabytes per second on the sequential write test. Once again, faster than a hard drive but can't compete with the good SSD, so about what I expected. I also ran the test for a second time after I installed a few games in the system and the performance on average saw an 8.35% decrease. But the speeds were still pretty decent and using the SSD as a daily driver part of your system probably wouldn't be a bad choice at all. The final synthetic benchmark I performed in the SSD was of the Addo Disk Benchmarking software. Contrary to the Crystal Disk Mark test, I only ran this one once before all the additional games were installed on the system. The results of this test showed pretty consistent writes in the lower 520s and equally consistent reads in the upper 530s. For some reason, the test didn't perform as well as the Crystal Disk Mark test, but was still in the same general ballpark in terms of performance. Kind of. But now we head into the gaming benchmarks to see just how long it would take one to load some popular games such as Counter-Strike Global Offensive and Grand Theft Auto V. For these tests, I'll be comparing the loading time on the OEM SSD against my main computer Samsung 860 EVO Mark II SSD to see how it would stack up against higher end components. The first game test I ran on both systems was of loading into Grand Theft Auto V. The quicker of the two in this case was my Samsung A60 EVO Mark II SSD which is currently 95% full. To load the game, it took a total of 1 minute 33 seconds while screen recording software was running and, predictably, performed quite better than the unbranded SSD. Speaking of which, the unbranded SSD took 2 minutes 31 seconds to load into Grand Theft Auto V, nearly a minute more. As expected, it didn't perform it well, but I guess its time wasn't terrible. I mean, a loading time at 2 minutes and 31 seconds would be bad for most games 
games, but in Grand Theft Auto 5, it's not actually that bad. The other game loading benchmark I ran on the SSD was a Counter-Strike Global Offensive. CSGO was also installed on my Samsung A60 EVO SSD and, once again, performed better in loading time than the unbranded SSD. The loading time to get into the main menu for the Samsung SSD test was 27 seconds, but it took the unbranded SSD a total of 32 seconds to do so. Proportionally, the 5 second difference in loading wasn't nearly as bad as GTA 5's, but in this test was a lot less noticeable. So, those are some basic benchmarks of and a quick look at this unbranded OEM 256GB SSD. Overall, it didn't perform terribly, but it wasn't exactly good and you got what you paid for since in 2020, 256GB of storage is hardly anything and would only be good enough for a few games and or your operating system. But I guess I would recommend it for people to use in budget PC builds or as a cheap way to refurbish a laptop. Fun fact, it turns out that I couldn't actually use this SSD for the laptop that I intended to refurbish it with. This was because, unbeknownst to me, that the chipset drivers necessary for a secondary drive installation on the laptop were only compatible up to Windows 8 operating systems and the one currently installed on it was Windows 10. I was debating putting Windows 8 on the laptop, but generally speaking, Windows 10 PCs do sell for more and I could definitely make good use of a beater SSD to speed up a slower system such as the box PC. Speaking of which, you should go check that video out. I made a $30 computer in a box and I did a bunch of testing on it. I'll leave a link below. But hey, did you know that I've uploaded multiple unlisted videos to this channel? Probably not because they have basically no views, but you can find these videos in the Discord exclusive channel, the official J Knight Discord server. Link in description. Regardless, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Also, please leave a comment below because interactions with viewers will help boost this video in the YouTube algorithm and I guarantee that I'll respond to your comments. While you're at it, please subscribe because it helps a lot in video quality and production and also positively affects my day. Finally, leave any questions or suggestions in the comments below and have a great day. Bye!